The second part of this week, we're going to start looking at how to compute the inverse of a matrix. We're going to start by looking at how to invert functions from reals to reals, then vector functions, then linear transformations, and finally the matrices that represent those linear transformations. This week we're only going to look at very simple examples. Next week we're going to talk about how to solve the general problem of computing the inverse of a given matrix. Let's very quickly review what inverse functions are like in 1D. What do we mean by that? If I have a function that maps the reals to the reals, and this function is a bijection, which was defined as a one-to-one -one and onto function. Now, what does one-to-one -one mean? It means that for every element in R, there is a unique output in R. There's no other real number, so that if you plug it into F, you get the same output. Onto means that for every element in R, there is an element in R such that if you put it into F, you get that output. So, in that case, for any y, there is a unique x such that that x maps to y. And notice that we also said that for every x, there is an output y. So in other words, for every x, f is actually defined. When you have this, if you then ask, well, what function is it that when given as input y, gives us back the x that maps to it, that function is called the inverse of function f. And that function is often denoted by f inverse, and notice that it maps r to r again. And very importantly, if you take x, plug it into f inverse, and then plug the result of that into f, then you better get x back. And if you take x and you plug it into f, and then take the result and plug that into f inverse, then you better also get x back. That's the whole notion of an inverse. In other words, f inverse undoes the action of f, and f undoes the action of f inverse. And it, it's very important to think about it that way. So, the question now becomes how to um, extend the notion of an inverse to vector functions to linear transformations and to matrices. That's what we're going to be talking about the rest of this week as well as next week.